Hey Red Raiders, it's Monsi. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I take you guys along with me to First Friday Art Trail and I show you guys what to expect and kind of explain how it works when you guys get there. This was my first time going and I can honestly say I had a lot of fun. Even with the weather being a little windy and there being a chance of rain, there was still a lot of people. So I can imagine it gets way more lively during the warmer months and when the holidays come around like Halloween and Christmas. So if you guys haven't gone to First Friday Art Trail already, I highly encourage you guys to do so. It's a lot of fun like you guys will see in the video. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on with it. All right, so what is First Friday Art Trail? First Friday Art Trail is an event that occurs every first Friday here in Lubbock, and it's a free self-guided public art trail that brings together different fine arts, cultures, local businesses, and the Lubbock community in general. If you're interested in going, you can visit the Luca website, which is in the description, and you guys can check out what's going to be there in the coming months and any info you may need on parking and things like that. When I went this past weekend, you could either park in front of the Luca building, which is on the left of this clip and next to the post office or the large building right across Buddy Holly Hall, which is this building right here. I recommend getting there before 630 because the parking lot does get very full. And I think the sunset's really nice to watch while you're walking around and exploring all the different things that they have there for that month. Here's the map of the area where First Friday Art Trail usually takes place. So as you can see, there's Marsha Sharp and it's off of Marsha Sharp and Avenue L. There's that post office that I was talking about earlier and there's that first parking lot that you can park in front of the Luca building but there's also that Buddy Holly Hall and then that big parking lot right off of Mac Davis Lane and that's where we parked so we went straight down Mac Davis and then we kind of hit the area that started with the Charles Adams gallery and then we just continued on from there. So this is the art gallery that I was talking about a second ago. It's really nice in here. This is one of the first things that you'll see if you come in the same direction I did, especially all the dog paintings. I thought those were so cute. But one thing that helped me navigate First Friday Art Trail is separating it into two different sections. This is towards the back and there's a lot of food trucks. There's food and drinks. You can go thrift, visit some local businesses and the things that they sell. And you can even look through some vinyls, which if you have a record player, I highly recommend because there's a lot of hidden records in here that I would have bought if I had a record player. So I really like this section. And one cool thing I noticed is that they painted all the roadblocks, which is so nice to see while you were walking throughout the trail. But one thing about First Friday is that you will never leave hungry. There are so many food trucks, so definitely check them all out if you can. And here is the stage. And I would say that's pretty much the central point of the whole event. Like if you needed to meet up with someone, that's where y'all should go. This month we had a band performance, live music, and a performance by Texas Tech students, which we went to go support. So that's what y'all are seeing right now. But when the sun sets, that's kind of when all the fun happens. You can see that the parking lot is super full. And that's when a lot of people usually arrive when it's dark out. And that's also when the main attractions start to open up and when First Friday Art Show really starts to get busy. And right about now is the time that my friend and I started getting hungry. So we went to this Godfather's Pizza truck. And we can't say it enough, just like this lady said. And of course, I did a taste test for you guys, but Lubbock Wind came into play. So here's my reaction to waiting for the wind to stop and taking a bite of the pizza. It's so good, guys. It's so good. And another cool thing we checked out was in this building, it basically promoted a Legally Blonde musical. And this whole building was pinked out and it had a lot of photo ops. And I thought it was a really fun place to visit. And again, here's just to show you that it gets really busy when it becomes a little darker. And this is out by the thrifting side. But right about now, my friend also wanted to get something to eat. So we stopped by this empanada truck and... Green chili chicken empanada. Let's try it. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> You can taste the green chili. It's so good. My friend's telling me to try it with the hot sauce, so we'll do it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right, with the hot sauce. That's so good. 10 out of 10. And one thing about me is that after a meal, I always want something sweet. So we visited this Donut Patrol food truck and we got these chocolatey donuts and they were so good. But yeah, that was basically my experience at my first First Friday Art Trail. 
this is definitely not everything that I did. There were a lot of other things like a fashion show that we went to, but sometimes I couldn't record out of courtesy. And there was also a lot of people which made it a little bit difficult. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't gone to First Friday Art Show, I definitely encourage you guys to do so. It's so much fun. It's a way to de-stress yourself from the week and just get out and engage with the local Lubbock community. And best believe I am going again in the future. But yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We upload every Thursday now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.